All right, y'all. So I'm um, be going over the classwork. All right. So again, just a reminder: these notes are just for you to look over them. You can write them down. Uh, make sure you look at the videos. I think those are one of the most important things. They're just extra assistance for you to be able to practice, to be able to do the classwork. So again, you're not turning any of the notes in. You're not turning in any of the practice. This is just for you to do it online. And Khan Academy is going to help you solve it. That way you're able to do your classwork. Okay. Um, I'm going to be posting. And right now, just in case you need a little bit extra help, I'm, gonna ma I'm making this video as well to give you more help. Because sometimes, you know, Khan Academy can be a little bit confusing. Um, they sometimes go ahead really fast or they don't go over certain things. So I'm going to try to do that for you now. All right. So for classwork 1.1, we have select all the values of X that makes the inequality true. So this is very similar to the warm up. Practically the same. The only difference is it doesn't have, it's not in table. It doesn't say yes or no, um, but it's very similar. So here we go. So get my whiteboard ready. There we go. We got our whiteboard. All right. Now let's say I do X is less than one not only that but we're gonna say x is less than or equal to one you always have to remember that whenever you have a line in the bottom of your inequality it means equal to which means that it could be th the same number so one is not less than one but one can be equal to one so again the line in the bottom means equal to and remember your inequality right here has the mouth facing this way. So that means one is bigger than any number than X. Again, any, any number you put here to replace X has to be smaller or equal to one. So now let's give you some problems to do. So let me see. So let's see, let's say A is two, B is one, and C is, Mm, let's go negative one. All right, I'm gonna draw my line, yada yada, line, line, beautiful line. Uh, now I'm gonna go with my pencil and we're gonna make our number line. So let's go with blue, let's stay with blue. And remember, you always wanna start in the middle. So in the middle, you got zero. Ooh, that's an ugly zero. All right. Zero, <laughs> looks like an oval, but we'll go bear with me. Zero, and then again, remember on the right side of zero, you got your positive numbers, like one. Then you got two. I know what it's doing wrong. Then you got three. And you keep going, you can keep going if you want. I'm just gonna stop right there. And on the left side of zero, you have negative one, negative two, and negative three i'm gonna try to invest in a little pen because this little clicker is not working so hopefully with the pen i could do better um so here we go we got our number line ready now we just gotta put down our value right now we're looking at positive one so positive one let me see let me see let's get the stamp no let's get let's get a little circle let's see positive one so positive one is right yeah that's where your positive one's at. Positive one's right there. So that means we read the inequality one more time. X is less than or equal to one. That means any number you change X for has to be smaller or equal to one. And these are your values that you have right now. So the first one you have is, first one you have is two is greater than or equal to one. So is that going to be true? All right, let's put our two on our number line. Let's go, let's see. Our two is gonna be right over here. There you go, two's right here. So is our two less than or equal to one? Because remember, it's the inequality is eating the one so the one has to be the biggest number and like a lot of us know two is not smaller than one 
Two is not smaller than one. Two is not equal to one either. And another thing that your number line helps you understand is that anything right now, one is right here. Anything on the right side of one is going to be bigger. Anything on the left side of one is going to be smaller. So your two is on the right side of one. So that means it's bigger. So again, two cannot be less than or equal to one because it's obviously bigger. So right now you have your first one as wrong. Now let's go to our second one. Now we're going to the second one. The second one, let's go with burgundy. Our second one is one. Oh, right here. So our second one is right here, the same place where our values are. So now let's see what it says now. So now you got one is less than or equal to one. Is this true? Is one less than or equal to one? One is not less than one because one and one, they're, they're the same thing. So is one and one equal? They are, as you can see, they're in the same spot, same spot. And the only reason you're including one, you're allowed to have one as the answer is because of the line in the bottom. That means equal to, that means you're including, not excluding. Again, including means it's with you, you're, it's, you're allowed to use it. Excluding is like, you don't want it anymore, it's not there. It's like your X you're not gonna see anymore. Like it's excluded, it's gone. So now let's go to negative one. So this one was correct. One is not less than, but it is equal to one. Now you go with negative one. So let's look for negative one. So negative one, let's go with green. Now where did the green, let's go with pink. All right, so negative one, let's find where negative one is on our number line. So negative one is right here, right over here, negative one. Um, not that great, but uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, kind of just deleted everything. Oh, all right. So going back to it. Uh, why can't I bring it back? Undo? Nope, I can't undo it. Well, all right. Got got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Told you guys, you gotta bear with me with this. I'm learning as I go. All right, <laughs> so thank you, Philip. We got it back. All right, so now we're at negative one. Cool. So bring that up. So now we gotta do. Why does it do that? I don't know why it doesn't let me just erase part of it. Okay. I'll do it right here. All right. Negative one is less than or equal to one. All right. Here we go. Perfect. All right. So again, now we got to look at it. Negative one is on the left side of one. So remember, anything on the left side of one is less than. Hmm. Less than. Hmm. Anything on the right side of your value one is greater than. All right, so let's look at negative one is less than or equal to one. So negative one is less than one because it's on the left side of your number line. Again, it's negative one is less than one because it's on the left side of the number line. And then let's keep going. Negative one is less than or equal to one. Is negative one equal to one? No, one's negative, the other one is positive. So again, one is negative, the other one is positive. So although they're not equal to, negative one is less than one, so that makes it correct. Correct. All right, y'all. Um, so that's for classwork 1.1. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, hope you guys are able to understand it. Uh, let me know if you guys need any more help or what you guys would want me to do to make it a lot better for you to learn. Um, so that's it for this one. Um, so please let me know if you need more help. And I'll see you in the next recording.